Hey guys, it's Special Aussie here, and welcome to episode 14 of my New York City Wrestling series for TEW 2016. So here is Rush Hour, and of course we are starting 2017 in-game, which is awesome. So we've got our first year out of the way, and uh, yeah, we've got a pretty decent event here. We've got Rush Hour, as I just mentioned, um, and it should be a decent show. So we'll run the show. Alright, our first angle here is a New York City Wrestling Highlights Package. It's shown recapping the recent matches and angles of the last NYCW event. The highlights feature Ernest Youngman, Bordeaux Brandon Smith, Ross Henry, El Medico, Dean, Marv, Logan Will Spain, and Steve Flash. Obviously that advances two storylines there. We then go into the first match of the night, which is Logan Wolfsbane versus Steve Flash. In a decent match, Steve Flash defeated Logan Wolfsbane in 8-12 by pinfall with a flash bang. Um, Logan was really off his game, um, and obviously there wasn't much point in me making this a work the crowd match, because the crowd was already hot after the uh, the angle there. So that was a bit of a yeah, a bit of a mistake by me, but good to see that um, that I've you know. I guess learnt from that mistake already. Uh, so a 48D plus, pretty decent match anyway, even with that uh, that penalty to a hot crowd. We then have the second match of the card, and the, in about they had decent wrestling but didn't have much heat. El Medico Jr. defeated El Serpiente in 9.55 by pinfall with a Northern Light suplex. Got a 51D plus. Uh, we then go into an El Medico promo on Savage Tiger Jr. Cuts promo hyping his upcoming match with Savage Tiger Jr. Um, so we'll get that booked in. Uh, I forgot to actually do that match. Uh, let's delete that. Whoops. Okay, so it'll be a one-on-one. -on -one. El Medico versus Savage Tiger Jr. Mm, that should be a pretty decent match. Uh, it won't be for the title yet. Um, but there is a title match coming up next. And that is a pretty decent rating, to be honest. And about that had decent wrestling, but didn't have much heat. Savage Tiger Jr. defeated Xavi Ferreira in 959 by pinfall with a Selvage suplex. Savage Tiger Jr. makes defense number one of his NC NYCW Tri-State Regional title. Um, they both got 49 in-ring performances, and the match overall gets a 54C minus. Good stuff. It's a really good match. Uh, we then have the cooldown match. Man Mounts and Cahill uh, defeated Crockett Tubbs in 550 by pinfall with a mountain topper. Gets a 43D. Um, obviously, well, Crockett Tubbs improves in performance skills there as well, um, but did its job and brought the crowd back down. Um, we then get a 100 A star angle for Man Mounts and Cahill and Bordeaux of Brandon Smith. Um, again, this, this little rivalry. I was going to do it tonight, but I don't know. I just feel like. We're not ready for it yet. So yeah, 100 A-star promo obviously gets the crowd hotter, which is exactly what we want after the previous segment. Uh, in about they had decent wrestling, but didn't have much heat. The Southern Stars defeated the boys from the Yukon in 7.15, when Tennessee William defeated Howland Mad Mort by pinfall with a Tex Meat Grinder, 58C-. Uh, we got White Horse Whitaker off his game there, um, and as you'd expect, the Southern Stars pulling out the better match ratings, uh, but Whitehorse Whitaker improves in his performance skills, which is good. We then have uh, Andrew Harper taking on Nigel Svensson, and about they had decent wrestling but didn't have much heat, Andrew Harper defeated Nigel Svensson in 11.31 by pinfall with a spike slam, gets a 48D+, plus. and Andrew Harper improves in technical skills and performance skills, um, and as you would expect, Nigel was the better of the two performers there. We then go into the semi-main event. In a bout that had decent wrestling but didn't have much heat, the Ring Generals defeated Bourne to Riot in 1550 when Dean Wardoff defeated Jeff Bourne by pinfall with a wheelbarrow bomb. Gets a 59C. It's a pretty decent tag team match. Um, yeah, we've kind of come to expect good things from the Ring Generals. Um, and as you can see, Marvin Dean, they once again pick up the higher in ring performances. Um, but still, good job to good job by Born to Riot. They held their own, I suppose, in this match. We then have Bulldozer, Brandon Smith, and Ross Henry cut a generic tags uh, a generic tag team promo. Um, 
And Bulldozer Brandon Smith, his gimmick is getting stale, so we might have to change that. Uh, but that's an 88 B+, pretty happy with that rating. Going into the main event, which is the 76 B-. It's our new highest ever rating. We're almost cracking a B there as well. That's awesome. In about that had great heat and good wrestling, Bulldozer Brandon Smith and Ross Henry defeated Honest Frank and Ernest Youngman in 1252, when Bulldozer Brandon Smith defeated Honest Frank by pinfall with a backdrop driver. In terms of in-ring work, Bulldozer Brandon Smith was head and shoulders above everybody else, and Honest Frank was the weak link, so that's interesting. Uh, but yeah, Ernest Youngman was off his game, so that rating could have probably been a lot higher. Ernest gets a 62 for his in-ring performance, Ross Henry gets a 66, and yeah, Bulldozer gets an 80, which is just incredible. He's so... He's just above and beyond our best performer. So yeah, should be a decent show rating. A 62C, yeah, that's okay, I'm happy with that. Um, increases our popularity in one region. Uh, so we go Bulldozer, Ernest... Oh, what am I doing? Ernest and Ross. Okay. And we'll tell all these guys that they're awesome, because they did all pick up our highest ever match rating. Please, please, please. Okay, that was a pretty good show. I'm really happy. I, I thought that main event might do uh, do pretty well. Um, I, originally, I wasn't going to put Honest Frank in there. Uh, I was going to put Man Manson Cahill. But then I looked at... He's, he's only got like a, a 46 st uh, in his stamina. And obviously, you can't really go probably more than 7 minutes with that stamina. So, yeah, it's a little bit a little bit of a burden because I do want to use him before he's um before he leaves the company so yeah uh, so we're we'll getting to the office here hopefully we've gone up yes we have we've gone up 32 importance and 33 popularity which is awesome uh, we're still at 13 in the uh, spillover regions there um, but that's good we're, we're finally getting somewhere um, I'm gonna book the uh, next show, obviously it says no shows are scheduled, that is because I have uh, changed the dates to Thursdays because that is the only day that we're actually free to get, um, or week four actually, yeah, not so good there, Maybe we might have to change it to Wednesdays, but yeah, as you can see, Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays are just completely booked out with these guys uh, being in Japan which is unfortunate and uh, yeah these are all booked out um, by CGC which you know we have uh, well we did sign their color commentator okay so yeah I'm going to do uh, the next events uh, that well, the next event will be uh, that other scheduled event uh, will be main event. That's the name I'm giving it with the uh, graphic I've got. Um, we may as well put this in now. Glory days. We'll put in main event. If I can type. Uh, go to the picture. It's not. A, it's a pretty decent picture to be honest. I like it. It's very clean. Um, and I think I'll make it. Uh, we'll go one and a half. Will we? Or will we go one hour? I don't really think it matters all that much. Um, make it on a Wednesday of week four. And we want to make it a monthly. Awesome. Okay. So there we go. So the, I'll be doing those off camera. Um, it's pretty much just to build up uh, the popularity a little bit quicker. Um, and yeah. And we'll continue with the other events. We'll make this a Thursday as well. I might just go through and change all of them to Thursday. Uh, so yeah, that's going to wrap this episode up, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Um, let me just go into here very quickly. I want to have a look at Ernest and just check if he lost any popularity. There it is. There's a 50, 56C. He actually gained three points of popularity with that match, so that's awesome. Um, let's have a look at Ross. I mean, in theory, he should have just gone up. Yep, he's gone up one point in the Tri-State. Good, good. Uh, Bulldozer. 68C+. Plus. I think that's the same. Okay. That's not great. But still, okay. 
He is 33 years old, so I've got to keep an eye on that because I don't really want... Well, I can't really do anything because he's by far our best performer. So 40D minus Real Medico, that's the same as well. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's going to wrap this episode up, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Um, I'm really enjoying making these uh, these videos. They're, they're actually quite awesome to make. Um, and I just hope you guys are enjoying them as much as me. So yeah, if you could drop a like, um, I would really appreciate that. If you're a new viewer, don't forget to subscribe. That'll keep you up to date with all these episodes coming out. Um, and yeah, don't forget to tune into the next one, which will be Broadway Brawl, which will be a pretty decent pay-per-view. Oh, not pay-per-view. I always say that. I'm so used to having a pay-per-view uh, pay deal. The next event. Goodbye, guys.